Eight Citadel cadets suspended tonight after photos of them in hoods posted on social media. We want to show you that photo. Take a look at this. It shows cadets wearing white sheets on their heads with eye holes cut out. You're taking a look at this photo right now. This is what we've seen on social media. News 2's Raymond Owens working on reaction all day and is live at the Citadel with the latest. Raymond, what have you heard from people who've seen that photo? Well, I've been able to, to talk to people here in the community. Uh, and many of them express shock when they see the photographs uh, that, that appeared on social media earlier today. I've picture. seen it, but I can't believe that they're that stupid that they would do, actually do that. But she says she's really not surprised. No, I'm not surprised. Racism is alive and well in the U.S. Look at how they treat our president. Things they say about the president just this week and his family. So, no, I am not surprised. What are your thoughts about the cadets saying they were just singing a song and they were, they were doing oh, the no. Ghosts of Christmas no, Past? No, no, that's ridiculous. People don't think people are that stupid to look at that. That's the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> okay? And we know what the Ku Klux Klan stands for and what it's about. What's your thought when you see that? Ghosts of Christmas Past, well, that could be construed it, but the cone shape is a... Uh, Regalia for the KKK. And if it is, if it's a representation of it, I'm, it's, it's disturbing. It's uh, no place for that in our society in this day and age, especially for an institution like the Citadel that prepare men to be, and, and women to be leaders. And that's not the uh, qualification you look for in a leader. At the same time, Herbert Singleton says the Citadel is one of the finest institutions of its kind. You can't... Uh, you can't use one brush and paint the, the whole picture. I think it's, it takes a lot of brushes to, to make a portrait, and I, I, that may be one brush that they need to remove from the, uh, the canvas of the easel. Finally, when I showed Sandra Taylor, she had no words. Oh, my God. Wow. Ooh. Don't know what to say. It's rough. Hey. What's wow. going through your mind? Don't know what to say. That's rough. That's rough. Oh. Don't know what to say. Wow. Uh, basically, that's kind of the uh, the sentiment I heard from a number of people here that I spoke with, even those who didn't want to talk on television. Uh, they said that e even if it wasn't done intentionally, it still hurts to see the photographs. Now, General Rosa uh, issued a statement and said that he was in the process of suspending the eight cadets that were involved, uh, seven cadets and then one upperclassman, uh, from what I understand, or seven lowerclassmen and one upperclassman uh, were involved. The National Action Network is now planning to hold a press conference here uh, tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. to express their uh, thoughts on what happened uh, in those photographs. Reporting live in downtown Charleston at the Citadel, I'm Raymond Owens, News 2. All right, Raymond. Representative Wendell Gilliard just sent us this statement saying it is an inexcusable act that several Citadel cadets appeared on social media dressed in costumes resembling the Ku Klux Klan. The heinous act was committed in close proximity to Mother Emanuel AME Church. And with the recent Walter Scott shooting, this adds insult to injury. Gilliard also called for those cadets to be expelled. And State Senator Marlon Kempson <clears throat> responded with this, and it reads, This kind of behavior is absolutely unacceptable, and these students should be expelled. They have dishonored the Citadel, the people of Charleston, and the people of South Carolina. Kempson also called for the removal of the Confederate flag from Summerall Chapel.